Well, that's the way we professionals use commercial explosives. Occasionally, blasting caps do get lost, they stray, or they get stolen. And that can create situations like the one I'm asking you to watch right now. Then you'll understand why we pros are really concerned when explosives get into the hands of amateurs. Ryder, this is the Sherman Blasting Company dispatcher. Do you read me? Go ahead, this is Ryder. That call about some kids finding a possible blasting cap is confirmed. Proceed to Maplewood Lane, the last house. The name on the mailbox is uh, Carlton. Notify us as to what you find. We'll do. Let you go in there. Bug off, will you? I am. You can't go in there. It's too dangerous and risky. You're imagining things, Rod. That thing I found. Some kind of gadget to hook up to something. No, it's not. If it's a blasting cap, it is dangerous. Don't you remember the poster in school? Yeah, let, let's wait. You may be right. I didn't see any poster in school. You were probably absent. You remember any poster, Jeff? Well, you know, I miss a lot that goes on in class. No, it's mine. I know how to work. You can't go yeah, in there. Right. Smart, don't you? No, but I remember what the poster said. You want your hand blown off? Okay. Give you the key. Hey, stop. Come on. You made me rough. Okay, fellas, who phoned the police? He did. He's weird. He reads too much and has a crazy imagination. Where's this device you thought might be a blasting cap? It's in there. Stay back, fellas. Was that right? Yes, it's a blasting cap, an electrical one. What are you going to do? Well, I'm going to put it in this box where it can't hurt anyone if it does go off. But what about you? Oh, don't worry about me. I've been trained to handle explosives. That's why the police called me after you called them. Now, gangway, fellas. Hey, what what's going on? on? Well, okay, okay. I didn't see that warning poster, but either did Jeff. Yeah, well, I miss a lot that goes on in school. Just like on TV. Hey, there's some more here. Oh, relax, son. Those are just dummy blasting caps. They don't have any explosive charge. We use them for uh, safety education. See, I work for a company that makes blasting caps. Hey, they look just like the ones I found, except they don't look dangerous. Well, if you want to see just how dangerous they are, do me a favor and take that line from behind that television set and plug it in the garage for me. Thank you. All set. Okay, fellas. Just keep your eye on that television screen. Now, that's a baseball. Watch what a blasting cap can do to it. Oh, Here are some of the big and important jobs explosives have done. It's like digging the foundation for a skyscraper. Explosives were needed to widen the Panama Canal. That's the Grand Coulee job, enlarging the electrical production layout. And those are some of the blasting caps they used. That's a blast on the pit face of the Mesabi yeah. Range. Now, watch this. I want you to see what a blasting cap could do to a human being. Wow. Well, imagine what it might have done if it went off in your hand. Yeah, and I almost attached that to my radio battery. Well, that probably would have set it off. So might improper handling, as I told you. That's why the message on these posters our industry sends out is very simple, don't touch. That's what it said on the one at school. No, I remember it. But why do you need so many different kinds of blasting caps? For different kinds of blasting. 
explosives are a vital tool. Explosives dug that deep foundation through New York City's solid rock. Explosives, well, for example, explosives have helped dam a river. They built that hydroelectric power generating station. Explosives deepened a waterway between two oceans. Explosives have done hundreds of fascinating jobs. And blasting caps like these are needed to make these explosives work. But no one is building a dam or canal around here. Over a hundred million blasting caps are used every year. They're used, excuse me, they're used for all kinds of work. We use them for mining, quarries, road jobs, public service works, all that sort of thing. Now, people who work with explosives are very carefully trained. They're people like me. We try to be very precise with ourselves. And in the use of all explosives, we keep a strict count. We try not to lose them. But sometimes, no matter how hard we try, they are misplaced. How? Because explosives are stolen. Sometimes they're just abandoned or tossed away. But at any rate, uh, we come across them from an abandoned uh, miner shack or prospector's shack uh, years later. How long? Years later. And they're still dangerous. It's amazing. With 100 million in use each year, that more people like Ed don't find them. Yeah, I sure was lucky that I really didn't get hurt. You sure were lucky. And luckier still to have a friend like this guy who had the good sense to call the police. Well, I gotta be on, fellas. Mr. Wait, could I have a poster? Well, sure. Here, take one. Here, fellas, you take these. Now, pack them up in school where the kids can see them and learn what blasting caps look like. Then if they find one, they'll be smart and remember, don't touch. Thank mm -hmm. you.